Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He can show you better than we can read. Oh, Grandfather God, no one that I have met know that you are grand nor do they know that you are the grandfather, the only father. In the name of thy son, jealousy I read, lords of lords, kings of kings I read, Jesus Christ I read, Lord, Jealousy, that's what I read about your son. No one believed me. I have asked you to get this world, do what's written for me. And it started and no one believed me. I pray unto you, Grandfather God, in the name of thy son, Lord, Father, God, Jesus Christ, the creator of everything. Before him, there was no God form. The children need to be taught what is written. Please do what's written for me. You heard me pray unto our God. Our God is the only God. And grandfather God gave them unto us. But we act like we know everything. Well, this is the last time. And I'm going to read to you what the Lord wrote to us that he's going to do. So he's going to show us what is written. James, the third chapter, the 16th verse. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Where is envy and strife at? Is it in the house of prayer? Political? Politics? In family homes? In workplace? Well, Lord God is going to show everyone what is written. Read for yourself. Don't take my word. I'm just in the race to win the prize in the holy book. And I receive my testimony. So only thing I can tell you is that I'm reading from what I receive and what's going to happen. Lord God is going to show everyone that our Lord God is governor of the world. Have you ever read that? He's the governor. Now the truth will be told. Proverb, the first chapter, the 31st and the 32nd verse. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own ways and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of food shall destroy them. That is what's happening now. The separation, to let you know that God knows. Now I don't hear none of them in God's house reading what God is gonna show us. 
This is the last time. Our Lord God is going to show you and me how great he is. This is how the world is, filled with their own devices and have their own ways. Yes, now everyone will know the truth. Our Lord God will show us the evil men and whose their partners are. The evil men and women, I'm not going to put y'all out of it too. Show us in the house of prayer the evil men and women. Also, them that runs the nations. Let's see if I'm lying. Who are the prosperity of foods that will destroy them? Jeremiah, the 25th chapter, the 13th verse. And I will bring upon that land all my words which I have pronounced against it even all that is written in the book with Jeremiah have prophesied against all nations. Yeah, read Jeremiah. he tell you what he's going to do. Jeremiah prophesies against all the nations. It is written in Lord God's house, prophets and priests are profane the Lord found their wickedness. Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, the 11th verse. Read that. It'll tell you. Yes, our Lord God is going to get this world. Do anyone know all or some of the things the Lord going to show us? It is written that we that we will know the gospel all over the world. If you don't know what the gospel is, it is our Lord God Jesus' word that we read. Jesus is the answer to all questions in this world. Read Ezekiel, the 12th chapter, the 11th verse, I mean the 28th verse. Ezekiel, the 12th chapter, the 28th verse. Therefore say unto them, thus said the Lord God, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done said the Lord God. He have been writing and telling us what to do for a long time. Do you know what the Lord delights? Well, if you don't know what the Lord delights, you won't know what the Lord hates because you don't read. We have turned away from our Lord. Seeing if I'm lying. See if I'm lying, for the time is at hand. I'm running in Lord God's race. Why don't them that teach do not teach how to run in the race? Do anyone know what is written about what the Lord God ate? That is written. Do anyone want to be saved? I hear them say they are saved. But if you say I'm saved, then you don't need to be saved because you're already saved. Oh, he's going to get this world. See if I'm lying. Amos, the eighth chapter, the 11th verse. Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, that I will send a phenom in the world, not a phantom, 
of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord is going to do. The truth will be told. Our Lord God will do what is written. This is the last time. Let's see if I'm lying. Lord God is going to send a venom in the land and everyone will know the knowledge of the holy. Haven't you read about it? Do anyone know how to be a man? It's written. But we sit around and we want to judge people. Tell women how to be women. Tell men how to be men. But if you look in the mirror, you can see what you is. What you are. <laughs> but anyway it goes, I have been running in a race for close to 40 years now. I've been to God's house. I've been to my friends, my family, and everybody think I've been lying. Well, when you come to run all God's children, I'm going to read to you what God is going to do. And what he said, if a nation is divided, that nation cannot stand. If a house is divided, that house cannot stand. So let's see if I'm lying, the Lord is going to do something to this nation until every knee bow and every tongue confess. Now I can bring up Grandfather God that y'all don't want to call him Grandfather God. Grandfather God told his son to sit down. I'll make this world your footstool. So you're not contending. Are you not going to think that Jesus is doing this? What is about to happen? It is the father. Grandfather God. The only father. And don't worry, everybody going to call him grandfather. Isn't he grand? He gave his only begotten son. And the children decide to hang him. But the only thing is that you can't kill something that won't die. He promised you things that are written. They don't even read that. They want to tell you. Go to the Lord. Take your burden to the Lord. But have you read about burdens? He will forsake you. That's what's written. But you want to call me a lie and say, oh, God don't do that. Do you know what he hate? You tell people say God don't hate. But it is written. So what I can do is running in God's race, and you can too. You can run. We all supposed to run, but do they teach you that in God's house? And I'll tell you how you run. Read. Read for yourself. Hear it for yourself. Read it out loud. But who cares? God promised that he's going to show you. Thank you for coming to runallgodschildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. And if you want to pass this along, it'll be cool. Because I'm hoping this time I stop. Because I'm, I was afraid of people. Or what they think. What the dude wrote. A dude wrote to me and told me to do something. That I, his name was David. 
with his, well, you know, I, I tell you, I do curse. Well, cuss. I don't curse nobody. But I told my daughter and my nephew, God is going to fuck this world up. See if I'm lying. And may God be with us. And I tell my tell you like I tell my children and my nephews and nieces, it's better you than me. I wouldn't care if you believe me or not. I don't tell you to believe me. I tell you, believe God's word. He told us that he's going to get tired. Maybe he is now. And not only that, I received the word. And I'll show it to you. I finished the book that I'm writing. I'm trying to find somebody to print it the way I want to. I went to one. I wrote to the seven churches. And the person that did the book then in front of the book, there's a word misspelled. And I don't know how that happened or if they cared because they kept trying to get money out of me. And I don't mind paying the money. The thing is, is how you do me. Take care of yourself. This is the beginning of the end. And like I tell my kids, and I tell my nieces and my nephews, there is a God. And I don't have one. I got two. I got Grandfather God. And his son, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. People talk about love. God is love. That's why you're confused and you're going around talking about, well, I love them, but I, I don't love them no more. No, God is love. I listen to talk shows and they bring up, yeah, love is meek, it's kind, it's the this and that. And that's God. We ain't. Do you think our grandfather God would make something like us? After he made Jesus? Are you nuts? He wouldn't make nothing like me. I hope everybody cool. But it's better you than me. And I'm going to tell the truth. Because all I got to do is read it. This was called, Lord God will show you. And he's showing you now. Because I thought everybody would know me. I'm just running in the race. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus will be the teacher. He can show you better than we can read. And may God be with us.